I wanted to take a minute and talk about the statement from President Biden yesterday and what's happening in Palestine and Israel. Uh, I trust that all of us have seen the horrific, horrific uh, loss of life on the Israeli side and the Palestinian side, the uh, tremendous amount of fear and anxiety that is happening. And so the question comes up, uh, why is it that some of us continue to focus on Palestinians and the Palestinian suffering? Go back and read the statement from President Biden. It's a statement that any American um, politician could have made over the course of the last 20 years or so. Um, he says that these are um, that he unequivocally condemns the appalling assault against Israel by Hamas terrorists. Um, he goes on to offer um, that we stand ready to offer all appropriate means of support to the government and the people of Israel. There's some words that are never mentioned in Biden's statement. The word Palestine is never mentioned. The word Palestinian is never mentioned. There is no acknowledgement of the fact that um, Gaza has been under occupation for decades. Um, there's no acknowledgement of the bombardment of Gaza by American funded Israeli warplanes. There's no acknowledgement of the Israeli military cutting off food water and electricity to Gaza to the point that the hospitals are collapsing. Um, why is it that we continue to focus on the suffering of Palestinians? Take a look at any of the American media outlets, CNN being a good example. There's a wall to wall coverage of the horrible loss of life on the Israeli side. The Israeli victims have names. They have pictures, they have grieving mothers. We get to learn about their lives and their full humanities. Palestinians are erased from the picture. We don't get to see pictures of Palestinians. We don't get to hear about their names or see their grieving parents. In the statements of Biden, Palestine and Palestinians don't even exist. So some of us want to go to that place where there is suffering, but not acknowledgement. You can hold on to both truths that each and every single life is sacred and precious, that the lives of Israelis and the lives of Palestinians are made in the image of God, and they are precious and sacred, and state that this is an asymmetric war between a heavily militarized US funded state and a people who have been under dispossession and occupation and humiliation for decades. So some of us are going to shine a light on the places where the media coverage and our own government's statements and policies and funding is not going to. So why do some of us continue to speak out on behalf of Palestine when we know that every single life is sacred? Because the European powers are even withholding the trickle of aid to a people for whom 70% of their water is not safe to drink, Palestinians, where 70% of them are children and grandchildren of victims of ethnic cleansing, Palestinians. And in contrast, not only does Israel already get half of all US foreign aid, American warships are being sped along to expedite the suffering of Palestinians. That is why we hold on to both truths. Every life is sacred, and this is an asymmetric war between an occupying militaristic force and an occupied people. And so we're going to shine a light on the place where the suffering is greater.